What's going on, y'all? JT here with a quick run of my Hyper Plus 2. So you guys know I got this a while back. Um, got it from Hobio's site. So what I'll do is I'll put a link down in the description where you can actually buy it directly from HobioUSA.com. I think it's Hobio-USA.com. Um, that way you can go directly to the manufacturer. And they actually have parts and stuff for it, too. I know people were talking about, and they were concerned about parts and all that for it as well. Um, so you can get all that from their site. That's kind of where I'm getting stuff from as well. And then another thing is people kind of ask me about this truck. I haven't driven it because I actually um, resurfaced and repainted the body and just made it look a lot more purtier than it did before. And then I changed out the tires and wheels as well. Now I had these tires sitting, so I'm going to run it out here. So it may have a little, um, it may bounce a little bit because I had it sitting down and the weight kind of put an indent on the phone. But as I run it, that, that indent will come out. But these tires and wheels, of course, are speed trails. These are made for the... Double XLE for low, so they are 20 millimeter hexes. So I did put those on there, and you guys saw this in my showcase Sunday um, a couple of days ago as well. So I did have that in there, and then people kept asking me about how I painted this, um, and it was just basically two colors. I painted gray on the inside, and then for the outside, for where you guys see the the well where I painted, you know, on the back of the car, on the back of the truck and stuff. The thing I did there was. These come with a plastic foam over top of it. Most Lexan or all Lexan bodies do. And the only thing I did was, when I got this, I took an X-Acto knife with the plastic foam still on. I went ahead and painted the inside. I just trimmed around this particular part here. And I just took that plastic off. And it was still plastic covering the whole body. And then I spray painted that on the outside. So this is paint on the outside. That is too. And then, as you guys see there on the front with the black... It's painted on the outside as well. And then you guys see it on the back too because it makes it kind of easier because it is kind of hard to uh, mask the inside of this and then try to paint it with different colors and stuff. For me, it was just easier um, just to take an exacto knife, like I said. And I just trimmed around the outside very lightly and I pulled that plastic off and then I just painted on the outside of it. And then once it dried, I pulled this off. I pulled the plastic film that was still left on it and it actually pretty lines it up pretty well. You guys can see that there with that. So, <clears throat> excuse me. That's what I did for that. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get this running real quick. All right, y'all. Get this thing running. I did tighten the suspension up some as well. And it still has the stock gearing in here, but... I'm going to hit that ramp probably once or twice. <laughs> Maybe it's such a pretty truck, guys. This thing is it, it really does look good, and it's seven scale too. Now, there's a couple of things trying to get this adjusted real quick and that I that I may have mentioned briefly, briefly, and people may have forgotten is that this truck actually comes with oh wow, um, this truck actually comes with in the differentials. Instead of mod 1.0 gears, it's mod 1.5 in the differential gears and stuff. So that is actually making it a lot stronger in the differential area. I wasn't even going to pause. I'm just going to talk while coming over and getting that. So, and I stepped on something. It's a rock. Yeah, I'm going to tell you right now. I stepped on that and I was like, oh no. <laughs> but it wasn't a landmine. So. So it's good. I mean, it's built tough. It really is. I mean, it's a seven scale truck. So smaller than the X-Max, of course. And I'm going to get a lot of traction because of these tires. I see that. And I stiffen my suspension up. So I'm probably going to loosen it up just a tad bit. Got my body all dirty again. <laughs> After I revised it. So I may have to... You see my rear end's bouncing a little bit. So I may have to... Um, loosen my rear suspension up just a bit but I'll work with that I mean it's a trial and error thing I'm not really gonna launch this too much here because this ramp as you guys know I need to get another one it really isn't wide enough and sometimes you hit it at angles and stuff but As you guys see this thing jumps smooth tires are still ballooning a little bit in the front so 
I'm going to tweak that center diff. I'm probably going to put the norm for monster trucks and for most cars, 6S cars and stuff, it's probably going to be about 100K. If you're bashing and running off road like this with 6S, so I'll go ahead and put 100K in the center diff, and then we'll see how that works. I did it before, and it worked out pretty good. And I just cleaned some stuff out, so it's probably time to re-oil after all the running and stuff I've been doing with it. Okay, I definitely got to work with the suspension just a little bit. I normally try to work with cars, stock out the box. I'm still running the stock gearing. Um, before I do modifications, because most people who get these kind of cars, they just don't spend a lot of money on. Of course, the tires and wheels change, because, ooh. I almost spread it on that lady. I didn't want to do that. But these tires are getting heck of grip. I really want to take it, y'all ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna point out. I really want to take it over there and jump in on that. <laughs> but they over there doing construction. I gotta catch them on the day they slipping and they're not here. <laughs> then I can take it out there and take some other trucks out there and run it. There's a few other areas I started to run in, and this guy was like, hey, what are you doing? And I was like, oh, nothing. I'm actually leaving. <laughs> so I definitely gotta adjust my suspension on this. I'm kind of eating up the grass out here. So if you guys plan on getting these these tires for your any other A scale, just remember that they are 20 millimeter hexes. They aren't um, 17. So I'm kind of going light because I am making some marks out here, <laughs> and the park guy is. Circulating around, I want to be like, hey man, you tore my you grass up, are you making all these marks out here? I have no idea what's over, I don't even know why I'm going down there. But this truck is so pretty, y'all, it ain't even funny. Um, I love seeing this thing out here running. Cause it just looks so good. <laughs> So it could definitely, if you wanted to, you could definitely gear it up. <laughs> um, I believe this is a 16 tooth, and I may go to about an 18. Um, an 18 or 19, I might go 18. Usually for me, when I'm messing with gearing and stuff, I check runtime, I check temperatures. Uh, I check runtime and I check temperatures more than anything else. Uh, the temperature is not just of the motor in the ESC, um, but also the battery as well. And make sure there's no swelling or puffing. I'm using my SMC lipos, and they've run fine up in here, so. You guys see this thing jumps and runs smooth. I just gotta do some, some minor tweaking, and we're good. Woo! There goes my body through there. <laughs> uh, I pushed this down. Ah, I lost my body clips. Look at that. I had some uh, thinner, some smaller body clips up in there. So my body's coming all up. <laughs> I should have put some thicker body clips in there. And I didn't bring any more either. Ah.
I actually had some of the thin Traxxas ones in there that are kind of bent at an L shape. So now my body's gonna flop around for the remainder of this five second run I'm gonna do. <laughs> All right, y'all, that is a run of this in body clear. Ah, I lost them in the front. I was using these right here. You guys can see that there. And they're real thin and they're real small. I should have put the bigger ones in here, but I was in a rush trying to get out and get this running again. But anyway, guys, that's going to be a run of this. Like I said, there's going to be a link in the description where you guys can go and um, check this out. If you guys are interested in buying one, you get it directly from Hobio. So you ain't got to worry about all the ins and outs and etc. blah 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 with that so and then the tires and wheels I don't know how long these tires and wheels will last but these are giving me heck of traction I heard more than the 3XLE tires that I had on here but I'll probably put those back on at some point as well so put your comments down below don't forget to like subscribe and stay tuned for more videos thanks for watching